welcome to this video on robotic gripper guys in this video we will be completing what we have left in previous video which is making the teeth for this gripping element and also we will be making this gear as well so let's begin here is the gripping element guys if you have missed the previous video i will provide the link in the description so that you can make it now you can click on this face the external face make sure that you do not click on the internal face okay and then select here a center line make sure that you have selected only the center line okay and create a center line like this this is a horizontal straight center line as you can see now select a line and from this point to here in space make a line and then make another inclined line now select center line again and this time intentionally i'm making this inclined line but we need this horizontal line so make relation horizontal now select smart dimensioning tool and here specify the length of this center line as 1.6 millimeter the angle between these two lines is 135 degree and similarly the angle between these two inclined lines is 90 degree so after specifying these make sure that you have specified in this length as 2.83 millimeters okay and now we want this same thing uh, again so i will mirror it for that i am making this center line here and make sure that you have make this vertical line for that i am assigning this vertical relation now select mirror entities in the entities to mirror window i am selecting these two lines and mirror about this center line so that it can be mirrored and we do not have to make this same thing again now again we are going to do the same thing we will be mirroring these two lines again for that i'm making a straight center line here make sure that you have assigned a vertical relation as well and in a similar fashion i'm mirroring these two lines here as you can see in the yellow colored now they have turned into the dot color okay and now simply select extrude cut and here you need to specify through all and then check this box from here okay since i want to make some changes for that uh, select this area and click on this edit sketch when you select it you are back into the sketch again and now select this line and from this point on line to this point here make a line press escape button now select smart dimensioning tool from this line to this line here specify the distance i'm specifying as 0.2 millimeters now we need to trim some entities for that uh, select here trim entities and very carefully trim this line this line make sure that you have selected power trim okay so you need to trim these lines very carefully and after trimming these lines check this box from here and simply exit the sketch and now as you can see this cut has been updated now they have better profile okay now select this outer surface not the inner surface okay outer surface and then click on sketch we are making the teeth here as well for the gripping purpose so in a similar fashion i am making a center line here for reference make sure that this line is perfectly horizontal and specify the distance between these two lines as 0.2 millimeters as we have specified priorly as well make sure that this is horizontal so assign a horizontal relation now click on this line and here make this inclined line up to the center line that we have just created and another inclined line and the angle between these two lines are 45 degree and the angle between these two inclined lines are definitely 90 degree this is the same thing that we have created priorly and now select line and make these lines and finally make this line up to this point onto this line okay now we are going to 
assign some dimensions the angle between these two lines 90 degree similarly the angle between these two lines is 90 degree and 90 degree here as well okay so the sketch is completed now we have to go to the features and here select extruded cut and we only have to specify through all here and then check this box from here so this cut has been created and now we have to assign some appearance although this is an optional step if you want to specify the appearance you can if you want to skip it you can skip so I'm assigning here this dark gray color to the part and check this box from here now we have to save it make sure that you have uh, save it and give it a name of gripper and then cross this now it's time to make this gear this time I'm opening assembly file so click on assembly rather than part and then click OK the assembly file will get open and this window will automatically get appeared we only have to cross this and cross this option as well simply change the background to plain white and make sure that you have selected MMGS as units which are millimeters drop down this menu and click on adds in and make sure that you have enabled the SOLIDWORKS toolbox so you have to check these two boxes SOLIDWORKS toolbox library and click on ok so when you click on this option here we have the toolbox so you have to expand it click on yes and yes again so here we have multiple options as you can see it from here we have to go into ansi metric so double click on it here we have option for the power transmission double click on it here we have option for the gears double tap on it and from here we need spur gear so just drag it here in this window when as soon as you drag here it will take some time and this pop-up window will automatically get up here we have to specify the module which is 1.75 in this case so make sure that you have specified 1.75 as module the size of this uh, gear will automatically get adjusted so number of teeth is 20 make sure that you have assigned it pressure angle I have uh, leave it to 20 and here specify the face width as 7 millimeter and the nominal shaft diameter which is 5 millimeter in our case okay and then simply check this box as soon as you check this box this second gear will automatically get appear you need to cross it now the gear is ready and now we have to save it but we have to save this as part file so click on rebuild and here just type the name which is gear or you can type any other name and here drop down this menu and we need to save this file as a part file rather than assembly so make sure to save this as part file and click on save so that's all for this video guys see you in the next video